A data frame is a form of data set that R recognizes, very commonly used. Let's take a look at what one looks like. It's a regular text file. And here we have two variables. And the first row has year and labor union, which is labor union membership. And they're separated from each other with a space. And then two columns of numbers. The columns do not have to line up with the variable names, which are on the first row. But the, they are separated by spaces, the data. So let's learn how to access that. Now, there are three different ways we're going to cover here how to access that, each one using the command read.table. The first one, if you see, my data is being assigned from read.table, but the entire location from C colon all the way on in all the directories is in the read.table statement. So it tells our where to find the labor union membership .txt data set. This is not the normal way you do things in R, but it just goes to show that you can put the entire location on your hard drive of where this data set actually is. The second way that we're going to do next will be the normal way we do it. But let's take a look at what we've got here. We have read.table and then in parenthesis the quote, the entire location, all the directories, and then we typed out my data afterwards and in fact it gave us all of the variables. So there were two variables and the data. LS tells me how many objects I have in R and I just have one object right now, my data. Typing the word my data, hitting the enter will give me all the data as I had before. Typing objects is very similar to LS. Again, I have my data. Now I'm going to RM or remove them, remove my data. And now you'll see that I don't have it anymore and we can start over again. So let's go back and look at the second way. Now this is the normal way that people use data sets in R. They take the data set they're using, laborunionmembership.txt, and put it in their working in their R working directory. And if it's in the R working directory, R knows where to find it. You don't have to have all the location stuff with C colon and so on. So let's put that in there. And in fact, it did do that. So read.table read the data frame, laborunionmembership.txt. And it gave the two, my data after that, gave the two columns of the two variables. And again, I have LS with two parentheses giving me my data as an object that's in there. Now let's get rid of that and start all over again. Now we have it, it's gone. Now what we're going to do is learn how to use a dialog box to choose what data set I want to read. So again, we're using read.table, but this time we're picking file.choose as the way to open up a dialog box and actually navigate to the data set we want to use. So here's my dot, my data is being assigned from read.table but a dialog box opens up with file.choose and I pick it and then I typed in my data and we have the variables in there just like normal. Again look it's read.table but that file.choose that gives us this. Again let's look at the objects listing it we have my data. Same thing with the word objects, my data. However, look, I type in the word year and it doesn't give me back the data. How can I actually get it to do that? Well, if I tell it the data set first, my data and a dollar sign, followed by year, it will know where to find the variable year. So the my data dollar sign in front of the variable tells R where to find the variable year. But there's a better way that is sometimes useful. Let's look at two commands, the summary command, which will summarize basic information inside a data set, followed by the attach command. I personally don't like to use the attach command very much, but it's very commonly used in R. And I'll explain how it's done. So first we did my 
the summary of my data, and you see how you got the interquartile range, the minimum, the maximum, the mean, the median for all the data, all the variables in my data. So that's very useful. Now look at this attach my data. That takes all takes all of the variable names that are in my data and R remembers them. So when I type year now, I don't have to put my data dollar sign in front of year. This can cause some complexities in our programming later on when you get more advanced you'll find that sometimes things get confusing and so I often don't use the attach command I rather use the data set followed by a dollar sign name in front of the variable instead